Hey, what's up, y'all? DJ The Sports Blurred. I'm back. Did you miss me? All right, really quick video today. Um, I just kind of want to give my reaction to uh, the college football playoff rankings being released first time this year. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know if they got it right. Let me got it wrong. Tell me in the comment section down below. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. So, well, let me say this. If you're a fan of college football, if you like my content, um, please consider subscribing to my channel. I love all the support you guys have given me so far. Thank you for always being there. I like going back and forth to you guys. You guys are very, very, very intelligent football analysts, by the way. Um, you guys keep me on my feet. Let's go ahead and get into it. So college football playoff rankings were released last night. And really, there wasn't too many surprises. Um, the only surprise that I had was Michigan being ranked number five. But to be honest with you, I kind of understand their logic in ranking them so low. So uh, I'm going to give you my rankings on what I had. I had uh, Tennessee, number one. I had Ohio State, two. I had Georgia, three. I had Michigan, four. And I had Alabama, five. So, you know, very similar to what, um, you know, they ranked last night. So their rankings were as follow. At number one, the Tennessee Volunteers. At number two, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Number three were the Georgia Bulldogs. Number four was the Clemson Tigers. I mean, if you go down and look at Clemson's um, win-loss record, obviously they're undefeated, and they have a really decent resume. It's way more solid than what Michigan was able to throw out there. Uh, they have a few wins over some ranked teams. Um, number five, speaking of Michigan, you'll have the Wolverines there. So one of the things that hurt Michigan is a couple of things that I had said earlier in the season. They were just playing cupcakes. Um, they had nobody on that schedule that was worth a note. I mean, who was their best out of town, uh, out of conference win? Was it Hawaii? Was it Colorado? It wasn't either one of those schools. I mean, they just did not actually schedule anybody. However, that being said, I still think they're sitting at number five. They have their own destiny within their hands. If they beat the Buckeyes, then uh, there's no doubt in my mind they'll be in the playoffs. And then at number six, you have Alabama. So, Really nothing here that kind of stood out. Um, obviously, you have Georgia versus Tennessee this week. I believe whoever wins this game will be ranked number one next week. Ohio State will probably still be number two unless they go out there and just torch Northwestern 200 points to nothing. I don't think there's anything they can do to beat the winner of the, uh, the Tennessee-Georgia game and move up. Uh, Clemson did kind of surprise me. However, when you go back and look at Michigan's strength of schedule, um, there's 50 and, and the top 15 teams, Michigan has the lowest strength of schedule. So, you know, I, I can understand why Clemson's going to be ranked ahead of Michigan. Now, the interesting question is, if Clemson and Michigan play today in a neutral field, who do you guys have winning? Let me know in the comments uh, below. That would be a close one. And I've thought about it and I've gone back and forth. I, initially, I said Michigan easy, but then I, I would kind of go back and I watch some Clemson highlights. I watch some uh, some stats and I watch some of the competition that they beat. And I'm not so sure. I would still say uh, Michigan, but I don't think it would be a very easy uh, game for uh, the Wolverines to win. And then also you got Alabama. They're just sitting there in the weeds. They're just sitting there waiting. They only have one loss. They have a big game coming up this weekend. They're going to be playing the number 10 ranked LSU Tigers. So, you know, obviously if they win this game, they're going to just going to be hovering. And if Tennessee loses, if Georgia loses, they'll have one loss. You'll have to see one of those teams in the SEC uh, conference game. So very, very, very interested to see what's going to happen and how, you know, the Alabama Crimson Tide season is going to play out. All right. So you got it. One through six. Let me know if you agree with the rankings. Let me know if you, you disagree. Um, tell me if uh, Michigan was disrespected. I don't feel like they were. I think the committee put them in a really favorable position. What's the difference between number four and number five at the end of the day? There's not a huge difference, especially when you have to play a, a top-ranked team in Ohio State. That can essentially be your play-in game. All right, y'all. If y'all made it this far, man, I really appreciate you guys for checking me out. I really appreciate you guys for hanging with me. Thank you again for all the support you guys have shown my channel. You guys are absolutely the best. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like the comment, like the uh, video, do all that, share it with a friend <laughs> because it's way better to watch things with friends than by yourself. Y'all have a great rest of your day.